And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna come in and we're gonna knock out, I think we should knock out a high A-line bob in there. Wait a minute, sweet. And we're gonna come in and I'm gonna actually carve this out. What I mean by that is I'll turn around to show you what we're gonna do here, is I'm gonna come in doing this clipper over comb, using a wide flat top comb, and I'm gonna come in, hold this hair in the position I want it to fall with the comb. Use the comb like it would be your fingers. Hair falls to its longest point. Always remember that. So I'm going to come in, I'm going to knock this out using the StarTech clipper, and I'm going to snap on a flat top T-blade on this. This blade is the most aggressive blade that Oster makes. We make 13 different blades, and this one is what I call the hungry blade. It loves to remove hair. So I'm going to come in here, I'm going to tilt her head forward, lift this hair right up the center, come in with this, the blade right against the comb, carve right across that in one cut. Now I'm going to slant the comb down, look at the position of the comb. That makes the hair fall in the manner you want it to go. Use it just like your fingers. Come in, slide that right down. Come in on this other side, pull that hair down, position the comb, come in from the top, slide that right on down. Work that in. As I comb this down, you can see the rough cut to the cut. There's a slight weight line right in through here. Now we're going to come in, tighten this up, all clipper over comb, and bring this right on down. Turn this way a little bit, and right in through here. Watch my angle with the comb. It comes in, it sets the direction. If you were going to do this with your fingers, You'd come in, you'd be holding it in this manner in the way you want it to fall. Do the same thing as you use the comb. Bring that in, give it a very soft edge. The beauty of using a clipper to come in and do this is the way the hair filters through a clipper blade, it leaves a softer edge on that hair. What happens, instead of having a blunt cut, which is hair laying on top hair, you get separation into that so it naturally does it for you. Think of going through a haircut and cutting it with a pair of shears, and now you come back through with a pair of blending shears or notching shears to soften the edge out. That happens for you in one motion when you've used clipper over comb. Tie in this side. You see the fall just take place. Lightly soften that out. And right here, you see the fall. Lift your head up. Shake it a little bit for me, Cindy. Loosen it up. Now just soften out this bottom edge right in through here. Come right across it. Very soft. No tension put into that. Get a nice half circle in through there. Now, if I stand out of the way, look at the fallings there. Shake that, loosen it up for me. Has a nice, beautiful fall to it. We'll turn it around. We're going to come in and do this front perimeter. Pull down. We're going to give this a little bit of an asymmetric feel so that it'll split right in through here. Open her face up a little bit wider so you can see those beautiful eyes under there. She's got them hidden. Coming through here, hold this comb again at an angle. Slide that right down. Come all the way down to the length. Turn this way. Now when I come into this side, slide cutting is very easy for right-handers to come from the top down. But when you slide cut on the left side if you're right-handed, all of a sudden you're trying to go from length to short. It doesn't work. So what we do, it's very simple. Roll the clipper over in your hand. Turn it around, position this comb, go to your guide, and you're able to go from short to long hair. So everything stays consistent. Again, roll the clipper over, short to long. And you can slide cut to any extreme length as you're moving. When you do the slide cutting, two things happen. The comb moves as the clipper moves, just like with shears. If you did this with shears, you hold it in your fingers, You'd come behind it with shears, and everything moves at the same time. We're doing the same motion with the clipper, but we get a very soft head. Let's marry these two sides together.
Everything's very soft, very pretty. Okay, one last thing to do. With an A-line bob, I like to over-direct everything from the front, pull it back so that when the wind blows and her hair gets moved around, we don't have longer pieces from the front extend beyond the, the weight line in the back. So I'll pull all that back, come in, very light, soft cleanup, no definite line in it. Knock that right down. That's all it takes. You see how fast that is, guys? You see how quick you can do that with a pair of clippers? Imagine with a pair of shears. One little section at a time, you'll be trying to take out a lot of that hair. The clippers, you come in, it's so fast. You just turned a 45-minute haircut into about 10 minutes. It's that simple. EJ, let's get some product and let's style this out. Go. Whoa, check that out, EJ. What do you think? Huh? Nice line.